Hello, my name is Tony McNeil. At the beginning of this month, my brother and I went on a nostalgia tour to places that had once been part of our lives. Our grandparents had lived in an old brick cottage at the bottom of a Cheshire lane. The lane was a mile long, they used to tell us. We spent our childhood years visiting them and exploring the countryside all around. As teenagers, we worked our summer holidays on the local farms. We wandered down it again. It is just over half a mile to where the house stood. And the house had gone. Where it had stood, the local farm had expanded and covered the area with huge industrial cattle rearing sheds. We looked for evidence of the old garden fence against the road, or maybe a surviving brick but nothing. Our history was now only in our minds. We retraced the journey up the lane towards the main road, where once we had gone to catch the once-a-day bus into the nearest town. At least everything was in place along that quiet lane. The bridge where the railway line crossed, the section where the canal came close, the many lakes we called pits where swans used to nest. It really is a beautiful place, but as a child I don't think I really noticed how beautiful it was. Then it was normal, part of everyday living. Now though, it was special. I noticed the silence. I noticed how green the trees were that overhung and bordered our lane. I noticed the rich green verges. I noticed the cows in the field beyond the canal. They were as still as if they were in a painting. On the distant horizon was the church spire, our next destination. We were in a beautiful silence, a tranquil one. The sun was shining on the tall trees and the air was lazily ruffling the dark green leaves. There was life in the hedgerows and along the canal bank, life that was gentle and we were tuned into it. We were walking a well-remembered road into a timeless now. It was, but was not, what we had remembered. In childhood we had run and skipped through this beauty. Our young lives had been more important than this tranquillity around us. We moved on, and eventually to that distant church and its graveyard. It had recently been strimmed and all the old gravestones were exposed. We searched for a family grave we hadn't seen for 30 years and we couldn't find it. The picture was there in our minds, the white curbstones and the black writing, but there was nothing on the ground. We trod carefully round the uneven plots, trying to remember where exactly we had stood and watched all those years ago. It was gone. It must have subsided into the eternity of the grass. It was peaceful there too, far from the noise of any traffic. In my poking around, I disturbed a hare, and I took it as a sign. And anyway, it was time to move back into our world of today. I should have been sad at this loss of our history. I wasn't though. I felt enriched that I had been in the wonderful peace and tranquillity that accompanied the walk along the lane and then the search in the graveyard. I felt the love becoming yet stronger for those now lying unknown below the turf. How wonderful to have the memories of times past. How wonderful to find places where nature still lives peacefully and timelessly. How wonderful to have our eyes open to the beauty of life and to feel there is a power in life which can sometimes touch our spirits and lift them. We at the National Unitarian Fellowship greet you and we wish you peaceful moments in this month of June.